See, this is why Dodge dealerships keeps their scats and cats locked up, either behind an electrified fence or they keep them on the dealership floor that's locked up behind some sort of reinforced glass with the keys stored somewhere else. This dealership got hit at night at the dealership. Eight of their Chargers and Challengers, Hellcats and Scat Packs, all of the wheels, the rims stolen. They took all of the wheels off of all eight of these Mopars on the dealership lot. I don't even know how the dealership would recover after this. Like, would they just order in new sets of rims or new sets of wheels? Or would they put these, these cars on a, a truck and send them back? They put these cars on bricks, on cinder blocks. If you notice, in 2023, Dodge stopped putting lock and lug nuts on a lot of their scat packs, right? My scat pack in 2020 came with lock and wheel lug nuts on each one, right? 2023 last call editions, Dodge stopped doing that. Check your 2023 last call that's in your garage right now and tell me if you got a set of lock and lug nuts on your car. I bet you don't because Dodge started cutting corners and these thieves knew it and they hit the dealership and took all of their wheels. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a car that makes this a car blog. You don't know what's going down when I come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you're in the right place for all Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So let's just get into it, man. Uh, let's just watch this video from top to bottom. As soon as you turn on to it, uh, Challenger Scat Pack. This particular one's got the uh, the hood pins, so this might have been a special edition. No rims, no tires, no wheels on cinder blocks. This looks like a 1320. They got a 1320, a 1320 Scat Pack uh, Challenger. Got a wide body Scat Pack Challenger in the Plum Crazy. They brought that color back for this year. Got a TA. All of the wheels on a TA, all of them on the wide body. Got another TA here in Plum Crazy. Got that one too. Shaker 392 Challenger. Got that one too. Good old fashioned scat pack. Got that one too. Sitting on cinder blocks. Two cinder blocks. Charger scat pack. Of course, you can't have a party without a charger. In total, it looks like they got about eight different Challengers and Chargers right here on the front of this dealership parking lot overnight took all their wheels now to my understanding and i could be wrong this could be like an extra uh uh kind of an extra that they're charging for these cars but to my understanding what they're doing with the 23s is that dodge is no longer putting the wheel locks or the locking lug nuts on their cars anymore so back in the day, the scats and cats, they all used to come with lock and lug nuts. Mine came with lock and lug nuts. In other words, that one lug nut that you need a specific key for, for you guys that don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, the last call editions, they don't have those anymore. You know, Dodge has really been cutting corners with the last call models, you know. Uh, and as a result, they're not putting lock and lug nuts on their cars anymore, which explains why and how these cars were able to be jacked like this. Now, normally what you would see is these cars would be taken completely, like stolen. Well, these thieves, they just wanted something specific. They just wanted the wheels, you know, the tires and the rims. And they got just that. And they just jacked the cars up and put them on cinder blocks, which is crazy. That's crazy to see your, your cars on cinder blocks. There's just one other YouTuber. Uh, he's a shoe YouTuber down in uh, uh, Atlanta. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, he was a light-skinned dude with long dreads. And this is back in the day. This is probably three, four years ago when he got a Challenger scat pack and they stole his wheels and they put his car on cinder blocks. They broke his window, raided his car and put his shit on cinder blocks. But uh, God, I can't remember his name. I haven't watched the channel in a long time, but that they did him like that. And they're doing dealerships like this. So this is why when you go to a lot of Dodge dealerships, any Dodge dealership in North Carolina that I've ever been to, they've got all their scats and cats behind electrified fences or they've got them on the dealership floor, but they've got them angled in such a way that you can't steal them, basically. I mean, without completely tearing the car up or tearing the dealership up. Not to mention, they got the cars in one place and they got the keys in a completely separate other um, location on the dealership. You know what I'm saying? The biggest mistake that a lot of dealerships made in the past 
is that they would have the scats and cats right there on the dealership floor. And then they would have the keys, you know, in the back room. And it was one of those things where people were basically saying, you know, we're going to find these cars and we're going to steal them. Now, in this particular case with this video, it, they didn't steal the cars. They just wanted the wheels. Now, I guess the wheels are just as valuable as, you know, breaking into the car and trying to steal the car. Because you know what they do with these cars. They steal the cars and then they sell them for nickels and dimes because they want to make a quick flip. But in this particular case, they just wanted the wheels. And that's exactly what they got is the wheels. Took the wheels and were gone. And unless they had some sort of security cameras or something like that, you know, they're not going to find these guys anytime soon. Like, they're gone. They're goodbye. Adios. Um, but that's why when you go to dealerships, two things that I've noticed about Dodge dealerships. Number one, when you go to their dealerships, you see all the scats and cats are either on the dealership floor or behind electrified fences, like way back in the back. Number two, when you ask to test drive one of these cars, they give you a hard time, like test driving a scat or a cat, especially a Hellcat. With Hellcats, you almost have to have already put money down or they ran your credit to see whether or not you're even worthy of sitting in this car, let alone test driving it, you know, because there have been people that have gone up to the dealership and saying, hey, I want to test drive a Hellcat. I'm thinking about buying it. And then you test drive it and either they screw it up because they're out trying to do dumb stuff or they come back to the dealership, run your credit and you got a 446 and it's like, you can't even afford to sit in one of these cars, let alone test drive and let alone own it. Like you just wasted our time. So they give you a hard time when it comes time to try to test drive one of these cars. Like you, like I said, you pretty much already have to be in the process of buying one of these cars in order to test drive them or see them or sit inside of them. Like they don't even like getting the keys for them for to have you sit inside. They even give me, well, they don't. But in the past, I've seen them give people hard times for even trying to sit in these cars because that means they got to go to another location, get the keys and then come back and unlock it so you can sit in it. And they don't oftentimes like doing that, you know, uh, but that's why Dodge dealerships are so crazy with these cars, man. It's just this stuff right here. Like people are so brazen. They will go to the dealership and get your shit. If you've got your stuff on front street like that, and I say that to say in this particular case, they had all of these scats and cats lined up right at the front of the dealership, which I understand from a marketing perspective. If you're driving along the highway or you're driving along the street and you look at the Dodge dealership and you see all these scats and cats, you might be inclined to turn in. But in this case, it worked against them and they hit all of these cars. And because Dodge isn't putting lock and lug nuts on the 23s like they used to, it was an easy hit. It was a real easy hit. Like, like I said, back in the day, they used to put the lock and lug nuts on it. They did it with the 2020s. I believe they used to do it with the slim bodies back in the day. Excuse me, non-wide bodies back in the day. Uh, but for some reason, they got cheap in 23 and they stopped doing it. And as a result, this is what happens. These these thieves knew that this was going to happen or they knew that the 23s had no lock and lug nuts and they were good to go. Like nine times out of 10, when stuff like this happens, it's because somebody already drove up to the dealership, walked around, spotted, scoped out everything and was like, no lock and lug nuts, no security. They got all of these scats and cats right here on the front of the dealership lot. Like we really wouldn't have to do too much work. We could have a big truck pull out in front of the, uh, the dealership, right? and hit all of these cars, take them from the car to the truck, from the car to the truck, it'd be an easy transition, and then they're gone. Like, they don't have to go all around to the back of the dealership getting on all these security cameras. If you got your stuff right there on Front Street, it's, a re it's easy. It's easy. It's an easy lick. It's an easy job. So, you know, sad day for this particular dealership. I don't know where this dealership is located, but I do know that they are going to be in... Uh, they're going to be in a bad position financially because they got all of these expensive cars that they can't sell at this point that are pretty much useless taking up space. So it's crazy. But this for you guys should let you know that if they're willing to do this stuff to a dealership, they're damn sure willing to do this stuff at your own home. So put your car in a garage, lock and wheel nut lock, uh, wheel locks, car lock. You need something, some kind of lock, car lock, wheel lock, lug nuts, something. You need something. Trust me when I say as always, guys, this has been your boy Knockout360. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.